Thanks for checking things out here at WXYZ.com. I'm 7 First Alert Meteorologist Chris Edwards. Yes, the colder air has settled in and it'll be with us for days. It's feeling like winter again after a reprieve for quite some time. The snow that is not causing any trouble now increases late Sunday into Sunday night and then there's another accumulation possibility Monday night into Tuesday that we have to keep a close eye on. Uh, that in the meantime is just a couple of snow showers around here this afternoon. We think little if any accumulation during the afternoon hours on this Friday. And as we get into the evening, the snow just tapers off to an occasional little flurry. Now there is this stretched out low pressure area, another trough, kind of like a spoke spinning around a wheel. That wheel is a low pressure centered up in Canada, but it could trigger a few more snow showers, especially in the second half of the day Saturday. But once again, we're not expecting accumulation to be significant, if there's any at all from that. Then that winds down. And during the day on Sunday, another system, notice that little red L near Chicago, starts to develop in the afternoon, especially on Sunday, starts to pick up some moisture. And late Sunday into Sunday night, that should move into here and probably bring us some accumulation that's relatively widespread. It doesn't look really heavy, but by the time we get to midnight Sunday, we could have a fresh inch of snow on the ground, and it could be snowing at that time. We've got all weekend to watch it, and of course, we're going to keep an eye on it here with 7 First Alert weather. This afternoon, though, we'll barely squeak to 34, most of us hovering near freezing with light snow easing up. It's breezy and chilly, though. Wind chill's not far from 20 with that high of 34. Actual temperature drops to 27 overnight, cooler in the outlying areas, just a few flurries, but we will have clouds and that 10 to 20 mile an hour wind, so it's still breezy. Now, Saturday looks cloudy as well. What's new? Where's the sunshine? I'll show you in the seven day when we'll get some. A few snow showers develop, once again, light, high only 33, and then 30 on Sunday, but late in the day Sunday, that's when a little bit more significant snow is likely to move into the picture. And then it moves out by dawn on Monday. We'll have a fresh coating of snow and sunshine looks likely on Monday. Now, it may not be a brilliantly sunny day, but I think we're going to have more sun on Monday than we've seen in quite some time. Doesn't help temps much, though. Only 29 for the high. And then Monday night into Tuesday, more snow. Notice that high gets up to 36, so it could be a little wet snow. But again, some accumulation is possible Monday night into at least early Tuesday. And then it stays chilly, but it looks generally dry as we get into the mid part of next work week. And by the way, of course, Wednesday, the 1st of February, which means Thursday will be Groundhog Day. That's when that little rodent comes out and gets all kinds of attention. And we just love to cover him here in the meteorological world when he says what's going to happen. But anyway, we will keep you informed, and we hope you keep checking back with us at WXYZ.com. Have a great weekend.